that is for for that the coil is the the plane of the coil that is the plane of the coil is vertical so the plane of the coil is vertical fine the plane of the coil is vertical so there the theta is zero so so it is something like this do you understand i am showing you the exact front view or or maybe say something like this you see so your coil is like this is it not so that its its angle is this and what is the angle of the of the magnetic field it is the same so this is b this is the area vector understand fine let the angular velocity let the angular velocity be omega radian per second correct the angular velocity is omega radian per second understand now what happens what happens after a time t at time equal to t seconds the coil would have turned see the coil would have turned and it would be making an angle like this while my b still remains in the same direction do we understand while my b still remains in the same direction this is my theta now and what is that theta equal to at time is equal to t seconds the coil turns by an angle theta equal to omega t is it not theta equal to omega t fine now what is the what is the flux linked at this point of time so the flux linked the flux phi linked at time equal to t is what b dot a is phi is equal to b dot a the total flux i'm saying the total flux so what happens it is equal to n into b dot a n into b into a n into b dot a which is equal to n b a cos theta okay n b a cos theta and what is theta theta is omega t that we have already written so it is n b a cos omega t is it not this is the total flux so n phi i'll say this is the total flux n phi correct now what is the emf induced emf induced hope you people have written this may i raise this this portion of it yes. okay so so i'll just raise this okay so emf induced e is equal to minus 
d d t of n phi which is equal to minus d d t of n b a cos omega p understand now what is that equal to what is that equal to n b a is a constant so i take it out fine so i i just take it out do so erase this whole so it becomes e is equal to minus n b a from here n b a comes out and it becomes d d t of cos omega t we know differentiation well enough to solve this so this becomes what n b a d d t of cos omega t will be first of all minus sin omega t i have i have found out the derivative of cos omega t and then i move in chain rule and find out the derivative of omega t with respect to t so that gives me omega this minus this minus makes it plus this omega comes and multiplies here and it becomes n b a omega sin omega t do we get that it is n b a omega sin omega t and this is the expression for for the emf now if i if i term n b a omega as as e not okay if n b a omega is equal to e not then i get e is equal to e not sin omega t so what happens this is giving me a sinusoidal voltage output right does this generator give sir sinusoidal output right it gives me a sinusoidal output and it can be drawn right if i draw it with respect to omega t then it looks like then it looks like this this is a perfect sinusoid so okay so this is zero this is pi by 2 this is sorry sorry this is pi extremely sorry this pi it takes some maxima at pi by 2 this is 3 pi by 2 and this is 2 pi this is omega t this is e this is e okay do we get that so roughly how does it how does it change let me let me do that so i'll i'll now erase this as well okay so so roughly this is how things change and there is an interesting thing that comes into picture that will shortly do what happens is is so 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 what happens when when the coil is vertical okay so when the coil is vertical okay and so i am showing you the top view right this is my s this is my north pole then what happens when the coil is vertical and i am looking from from the top i just see a line then what happens then what happens then i move ahead the coil actually becomes 
flat makes an angle of 90 degree you understand after quarter of a turn a quadrant it looks like that then then what happens then it again looks like a rod to me why because at this point so it started from here it went like that and it turned like that right it started from here went like that became this mm -hmm. correct and then it will again start looking to me like a coil it is 3 fourth right so so it is 3 fourth done and then it again comes back to the whole position this is one turn do we get that this is north south north south north south north south now when omega t is equal to 0 you see that the 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 emf induced is 0 so so at this point the emf induced is 0 you understand this is 0 and when it is like that the emf is the maxima omega t is equal to pi by 2 this is omega t is equal to pi by 2 this is omega t whole and what happens i come here there at pi it again becomes zero and at this point it again becomes a maxima negative and here it turns back to zero now what 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 is interesting about it is is to be understood it is square of this this okay pretty symmetrical and this value is how much it is this value which is e naught and this is this value is minus e naught okay do we understand when it is linking the maximum flux then the voltage is zero you see that when when this is the coil and this is the field this is the field then it is linking the maximum voltage uh, the maximum area right so so it is linking the maximum flux but at that point my voltage is zero why because the change in the change in flux there is almost zero why why is that No, it's not constant. It's changing, but just try to see when when you are seeing it full on and and I am turning it. You'll hardly see any change, right? In the cross section that you are seeing, while when it is zero and I turn it by just a small amount, suddenly from zero it changes by a big amount. So when it is linking no flux, when it is linking no flux, it gives you a maximum value when it is linking maximum flux it is giving you zero value why because the change in area that means the change in flux at that time when when omega t is equal to zero is zero and the change in flux when omega t is equal to pi by 2 is the maximum fine so it is something that you have to understand okay now 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 as we have discussed that there are many kinds of generators so thermal generators can be coal based what if we take it uh, what if we take the position at pi by 2 as a starting point you can it will start from here oh, <coughs> start from here but ultimately you don't know from where you started no? no you would have been producing 50 such cycles in a second so so that does not matter right simply does not matter from where you start so, so thermal coal based plants are uh, coal based and the nuclear or gas fired or gas fired so what do they do all three of them all three of them heat steam 
which hits the blades of turbine which in turn rotates the generator i'll erase this as well hope you had written it and and this i have drawn there so no point putting it here okay let me label it this is actually pi this is 3 pi by 2 and this is 2 pi right so it is thermal or hydroelectric what happens here the water water turns the turbine blades or wind okay so so based on uh, this is based on their mechanical power input based on based on mechanical power input power input the types of ac generators are these wind wind generators so wind turns the turbine understand so there may be various ways of inputting the inputting the the mechanical power and but this is how you get the electrical power out right photovoltaic cells are something that take in electrical energy and they and it goes through nothing of this chaos and still it is capable of generating electricity right so there are no moving parts so you you save on maintenance but but it is still costly and uh, hence it is not catching up but it has to ultimately right sometimes you will run out of all these mm. so so that ends this chapter electromagnetic induction right